Start filming. Eight Start pounds. filming. Guys, well, I just caught the biggest bass of my life. This thing's eight pounds easy. Biggest that's pretty bass big for around life. here. It's November 9th, guys. Caught him right here by shore on a Carolina rig. Like Is it playing? Six foot off. Is it playing? Yeah. All right, I got to weigh him. Biggest bass of my life, guys. Dude, and we're here at this golf course, Seager Golf Course. That this is actually his first time here. That I took him here. I've known this spot for a couple times. I've caught fish, a couple more around that size, and even bigger probably. There's bigger ones probably in here. It's really nice. Oh my God, seven and a half pounds. Is that bigger than first hole? Oh my God, seven and a half pounds. Look at the scale, guys. Oh, that's that's scale. Look, here's five. The six, seven and a half pounds, guys. Holy crap. Dude, make sure that one gets back in, dude. There might be bigger ones. All right, Still filming? Like... Yep. Keep it going. All right. Did you take pictures? Yeah, I got pictures on my iPod. got pictures? Yeah, I can screenshot. Guys, that's seven and a half pounds for you. Oh, my God, guys. There's oh. bigger ones than that in here, bro. Oh, my God, dude. Oh. It's a fucking pig. Seven and a half pounds. I think that scale's about a half a pound off. This is eight pounds. All right. He's good. He's biting at you. He's biting at your fingers. Seven and a half pounds, guys. Biggest bass of my life. He ate it right here. Oh, my God. Put him God. back, dude. Get a good picture, dude. Good. Seven and a half pounds. Biggest bass of my I'm trying life. Trying to keep the sun off the camera. Holy crap. Fifteen pound trilene big game line. And the uh, Daiwa Laguna Reel. Oh, got him. Another one? Another one. He's bigger or smaller? He's definitely a two-pounder. Really? Ah. Uh, I think. Oh, well, number four. Dink. 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 He took that really good. Dink. See that, guys? There's another one right there. Can you go see if the camera's, like, looking at me with the fish? You're good. Is it looking at the fish? Mm -hmm. Somewhat. Another one on the sink, though, guys. You're good. Fourth fish of the day. It's on you right now. You're good. He really took that. Oh. I don't know what to do. It's the same thing. Go grow like go grow into an eight pounder like you're prime. <laughs> they all occasionally will. Alright, I'm taking this worm off these fish. Yeah. I'm gonna see it go. I think they can see this. I'm so glad I looked at that wire to fish article yesterday. Okay, what's up guys? Well today I want to talk about what I caught my um eight pound bass on yesterday. I was using a uh, Carolina rig, um, which is basically I have a bead on top of the weight. Another bead below it, barrel swivel. Then I had about 15 to 18 inches of 25 pound trilene big game line. Or this is 20 pound actually. 20 pound fluorocarbon line for a liter. And it was about 15 to 18 inches of line for the liter. And I was using a VMC twist lock hook. Four -aught. I like the twist lock hooks because they really keep your bait on better. You catch a lot more fish on them. The uh, lures I were using, or the bait, was a Konami Beats Cinco. And these are made by Gary Automoto. And they're a lot cheaper. They're only like three bucks. You can't show it on there, but it says three ninety seven. So they're a lot cheaper, and you get seven per pack. And the color is watermelon pepper which is a green it's just a dark green with a bunch of black flakes in it my favorite Cinco color other than black and blue so those are the, that's the bait rod and reel combo I was using was the reel was a Daiwa Languna 100 HL or yeah 100 HL real nice reel it's only like 60 bucks real nice reel for the price and I was really surprised at how smooth the drag was because um 
this the bait when I was reeling it in I was about ready to make a new cast it was only about five feet from shore and I didn't even feel a thump my line just started going out I thought for sure I had a big catfish on or something and um, it wasn't a catfish my drag went out for about five ten seconds I thought for sure I had a catfish and the drag was really smooth I was really surprised how smooth the line went out and um then came up and shook his head and it was a giant eight pound bass twenty five inches uh, that's the Dial Languna 100HL for the main line I was using Trilene Big Game 15 pound test fluorocarbon uh, I got I don't have much line on here because I snapped off the rig lost a lot of line so I'm going to have to re-spool this the rod is a seven foot medium heavy Bass Pro Shops Torney Special Graphite Series Rod, IM7, 7. 7 foot medium heavy, it's a real nice rod, got this last Christmas. So, all I was doing was, I wasn't really dragging it on the bottom like a typical Carolina rig, I was actually hopping it and making it twitch around. First 10 minutes I was there, I was using the jig, didn't get anything, so I just, I had the three rods with me and I already had the Carolina rig tied on. And what made me tie on the Carolina rig was that I, I, on Facebook I saw a Wired to Fish article saying that Carolina rigs are good for cold water bass. And um, I, I looked at that article, read it, and um, a lot of good tips there. Wired to Fish, go to their YouTube channel, they got a lot of nice videos. So um, I put on I, uh, this water here, this was at a golf course pond, first time I've ever been there. My friend Cole's been there a lot. I, I mean, he told me about this place. I've seen pictures of giant, him catching giant bass out of there. So, sure enough, as soon as I get there, tied on the Carolina rig, or had it tied on, casted it out. First five casts, I caught two bass back-to-back, -back, both tiny little 15-inch bass, little buck bass. And then about five minutes after that one, came the 8-pounder. So... And there's and then I cast it out to the spot where I've been catching all the fish. Turns out there's a big tree or something down there because I snagged and lost my uh, rig. And here's here's the here's the uh, really uh, thing that gets to me is that I didn't have any more line. I didn't have this roll of line with me when I left. All I had was braid. So I started using braid as a leader for the rest of the day. I did not catch a single fish. The only reason why is because this lake is clear, the water's crystal clear, and I really think that the braided line they could see, and especially in November, the bass are very finicky this time of year. And um, so as soon as I put that braided line on as a leader, I didn't catch a single fish the rest of the day. So it's very important that you use low visibility fluorocarbon monofilament line in uh, clear water. I'll be doing, make sure I take this rule of line with me next time I go out because there's a lot of snags there. And there's a lot of offshore structure, and that's what these bass are sitting on. And guys, I've, it's, I've caught bass in every month except December and January, but I've never caught bass in numbers like this in November. Um, typically, I never really catch any fish in November, any bass. It's very hard to catch them, but um, I, I found a pattern. This Carolina rig's been working the past couple of weeks here, and... Uh, Seems like the bass really like it. They also like spoons this time of year, but I never really catch them in numbers on spoons. So the, the bass really like jigs, crankbaits, square bills, rattle traps this time of year. And now they like they like Carolina rigs. So next weekend I'm going to be going to the same spot, see if we can get another one, five pounds, if not bigger, because this place is a golf course. You know, very it's a private league, so anybody that anything. It's in there. It's big. There's a lot of big bluegill in there. There's a lot of things for them to feed on. So, yeah, so, um, this fishing season's coming down to an end. It's November 10th today. Uh, temperature today is actually warmed up real nice. It's 62 degrees out right now. But, um, the water temps are probably in the, the 48 to 52 degree range. Very cold now. Um, bass are getting ready to, uh, go out to their deepest part of the lake and rest for winter and won't wake up till spring. So if that bass that I caught was in the uh, spawn, that thing would probably be 9, 10 pounds, guys. 
biggest bass I ever caught, and um, it's been a remarkable season for me. And believe it or not, I've been trying since October to catch me 200 bass for the entire season. And I've now reached it. I'm at 201 bass. Before the trip, before yesterday's trip, I was at 197. Today I hit two, or yesterday I hit 201. And believe it or not, that 8-pound bass was my 200th bass. And right after I caught the 8-pounder, I caught another tiny 15-inch bass on the Carolina rig. And then um, I snapped off after him. But I like to write, whenever I go fishing, I always like to write it to keep a little log. Say what the weather was. I put in uh, what I caught the fish on. And uh, so that way I can use this for future reference. So I, I finally hit the 200 mark for this for the summer, and that's a huge, that's it's a huge uh, first for me. Especially in New Jersey, it's not very easy to catch an eight pound bass, 25 inch bass in New Jersey. That's very hard. The state record's 10 pounds, 14 ounces, by the way. So um, yeah, so I definitely recommend you guys try Carolina rig this time of year. And um, if you're fishing clear water, I go with a dark green Cinco or a black and blue. Those are the best colors. Best color Cinco's for anything is a black and green for any water situation. So um, I'm gonna show you guys the video of the uh, eight pounder, and I got a, I got one more little bass in there. That little buck bass I caught was right after the eight pounder, and then in the video I snagged, but I'm not gonna show the snags. It took like 10 minutes, but the line snapped. So um, I'm gonna let the video play. And um, thanks for uh, watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I want to give you um, what's going to happen for the uh, rest of the year for Christmas. I'm hoping, um, I'm asking for a bass, or I'm going to ask for a uh, Abu Garcia Pro Max Reel. It um, goes for 80 bucks. It's an 8-ball bearing system. And um, 7 to 1 gear ratio. I'm going to use that. I'm going to put braid on that, and I'm going to use that for my frogging combo next year. And if I don't get that, I'm going to get the new Quantum Centex reel, and that's 80 bucks as well. That just came out. It's a real nice reel. Uh, the other reel I'm going to get is an Abu Garcia Silver Max. They got a flip and switch on there. I'm going to put 50 pound braid on that and use that for flipping and frogging. Um, this um, rod right here that I use for the Carolina rig, this is my crankbait combo, but I also like to use it for Carolina rigs and Texas rigs. So that's this is my crankbait and Carolina rig worm combo. My um, Black Max reel, which is on a Samanocellus, is going to go on this. But I'm going to be getting a, another Shimano Salus rod, but it's going to be a crankbait rod. And I'm going to order that. And that's gonna, that, this reel is going to go on that rod. And the Black Max is going to go on this rod. And the Black Max is going to have probably, you know, 15-pound monofilament for topwater baits and other stuff. But um, those are going to be my new combos that I'm going to be getting. I'm going to be getting a lot of new baits for my birthday in January. Probably going to be doing a lot of ordering this year because my Dick Sporting Goods doesn't have the, all the color combinations, as you would say. So I'm going to go to Tackle Warehouse and uh, order a bunch of uh, baits in different colors. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, thanks for watching.